In this video, we will solve the logarithmic equation log base 3 of x plus 3 plus log base 3 of x minus 5 equals 2. On the left side, we have a sum of two logarithms, and to condense these logarithms into a single logarithm, we will use the product rule. The product rule tells us that if we have a sum of two logarithms that have the same base, and one of them is log base b of x and the other one is log base b of y, then we can write this sum as the logarithm of the product of x and y. According to this rule, we will write the left side as log base 3 of x plus 3 times x minus 5. Then all this will equal 2. Now we have an equation that has only one logarithm on the left side, and in this equation, 3 represents the base, 2 represents the exponent, and x plus 3 times x minus 5 represents the result. To solve this logarithmic equation, we will rewrite it in exponential form. We will write that the result x plus 3 times x minus 5 equals the base 3 raised to exponent 2. Now we have a quadratic equation, and to solve it, we will start by removing the parentheses on the left side and raising 3 to the second power on the right side. On the left side, x times x is x squared, x times negative 5 is negative 5x, 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. On the right side, 3 squared is 9. In the next step, we will combine the like terms negative 5x and 3x, and we will move 9 to the left. Then we will have x squared, and negative 5x plus 3x is minus 2x, minus 15, and if we move 9 to the left, it will become minus 9, and now on the right side, we will have 0. We will also combine negative 15 and negative 9, and we will get x squared minus 2x minus 24 equals 0. Now we have all the terms on one side and 0 on the other side, and this is the form we want to have if we want to solve this equation either by using factoring or by using quadratic formula. First, we will try to use factoring, and if factoring doesn't work, then we can use quadratic formula. With factoring, we need to find two numbers whose sum is negative 2 and whose product is negative 24. These numbers are negative 6 and positive 4, and that is because negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2, and negative 6 times 4 is negative 24. And now, once we have these two numbers, we can write the left side as x minus 6 times x plus 4, and on the right side we will have 0. From here, we will use the zero factor property, and we will set each of these factors equal to zero. We will write that x minus 6 equals 0, or x plus 4 equals 0. In the first equation, we will add 6 to both sides, and we will get that x equals 6, and in the second equation, we will subtract 4 from both sides, and we will get that x equals negative 4. So we got two solutions, but now we have one more important thing to check. Recall that in a logarithm, the base has to be positive and not equal to 1, and the result has to be positive. Sometimes, when we use the properties of logarithms to solve logarithmic equations, we might end up with extraneous solutions that are not solutions to the original equation. If we look at our original equation, we see that each base is positive, and each of the results also has to be positive. The numbers 6 and negative 4 are solutions to this quadratic equation, but let's see if they are solutions to our initial equation. 
If we replace 6 in the initial equation, then in the first logarithm, 6 plus 3 is 9, and that is a positive number, and 6 minus 5 is 1, and this is also a positive number. However, if we replace negative 4, then in the first logarithm, negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1, and negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9. So if at least under one of these logarithms we get a negative number, then we must exclude negative 4 from the solution. Then we can say that our logarithmic equation has only one solution, and the solution is 6. Thank you for watching.